Hello everyone, how's it going? Hope all is well. Uh, one second. Do 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 do. All right, we are running uh, a version 0.9.6 pre uh, mod. Let's read off the change log for everyone. All right, we have updated to OXCE 5.0, which is no longer extended or extended plus. We've talked about this before, and now they have merged into one singular entity. All right, rolled AI types into one, thus allowing training from the start. New armors are the power armor, the aqua plastic suit is a coelacanth. New mission, Teleth Messengers, Teleth Recon, Teleth Survey, Teleth Embassy. New Obliterator Sprite. New Briefing Music for Cyberweb Missions. New Jungle Landing Block. Improved Shog Village and Reptoid Settlement Maps. Uh, the New Jungle Landing Block, that's one where you would have trees actually spawning inside your craft, causing problems. Hey, Ethan, how's it going? Uh, let's see what else we got here. Improved Magma Reactor Map. More things to share with Magma and to be punished for it. Shallow underwater missions are brighter. Excellent. New AI names. Oh, I got to fix that. Plasma caster is now easier to handle. The gunship now requires advanced lab. Boo. Bio exosuit is faster to make. Yay. A private transport is faster. Streamline the dependencies for improved and advanced labs. A Cyberdust assembly now grants four grav modules, but building XCOM Cyberdust requires an additional two. Unified fuel explosions between different tile sets. Fixed shield and hybrids wearing work suits. Fixed dog barking on the titanium gear. Fixed streetlights in Dawn City, as well as minor fixes. All right, uh, we had to disable the crated aircraft because it is broken with this mod. So I'll fix that and get that uploaded to uh, Discord for those of you using it ASAP. All right, we ended this uh, after a training battle. And um, that's missing the crated aircraft mod. We can ignore that. And we have a Syndicate Monster Lab. Array to Secret Lab and Capture Critical Files Concerning Monster Activity. Search the scientist to retrieve these files. Expect to fight some well-equipped and numerous Syndicate security. All right, we'll use uh, anti-gun gear and not anti-monster gear, which I would have uh, thought to use right away. We'll wait for daylight to happen there. We are researching a Scorpioid Corpse, Erect Cyberweb Robosphere, and Improved Radar Craft. Now, that makes me wonder if I can now train my... So, Halisa is done. What is the training range of the AI now? I have no idea. <laughs> Not a clue. Pizza Man. I can't believe these dogs are still alive. All right, 61. Now, 56. Hey, you're wounded. All right, 61 it is. Let's go run through all our training facilities as we do the start of every stream, or should do, even though we don't. All right, so I don't know what the training is on those. I guess they can't actually train in the gym. That would make sense. I will buy that excuse. All right, let's take these guys near the top. Do that. My goodness. I love this base. Grungletown has the best soldiers. If you're in Grungletown, you are the elite of the elite. We all good? We are all good. Hey, Ian, how's it going? Mm, Freaking bloodhounds. Wrecked Cyberweb Robosphere. This small combat drone is equipped with an anti-grav unit and a laser weapon. It operates on highly sophisticated hardware. Its armor is least resistant to energy weapons. We can now research advanced AI, although I don't know if that's still a thing. I guess it, it leads to more things, but our, our AI units are now trainable, so that's good. And we have the Feral Carcohedron. And if we are here, yes, this is your job, is to research the living things first. Let's get the erect cyberweb robo turret researched as well. Mmm, pancakes. Wait, is there such a thing as fake maple syrup? Because if there is, that's that's wrong on many levels. Many levels. Alright. You. Double den. We have quote. Uh, you know, it's a little weird. I'm going to say that the C-Bots aren't autumn. I'm going to bring the gunship, man. 
<laughs> Could never get the gunship. All right, and let's do. We will get. Oh great! I'll wait for my monitor to come over. Oh, why did it crash? Let's close that. Close that. Strengths. Oh, that's why. All right. Um, let's fix this on the air. Side note. Let me uh, send Scorch a note. So how do we do this? It is going to be do 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 do. Since we can't actually progress. This is 0 0.9.6, Ian. We're way ahead. Uh it was on quote, right? Quote. Where is your armor? Quote, quote, quote. All right, hold on. Let's see if I can take it off right away. I have Supreme Commander somewhere. You got to vote for it, man. But you know the rules. You know the rules. Alright. I'm just gonna go like this and go off. <laughs> Save that. Alright. North Storm, Airhawk, Stickman, Incognito, and 951. We'll take a break. What am I doing? Three, one, two, three. All right, and we'll let Mad Lab go. Dogovich, Fluffy, Vaughn, Rimbo, Sneaky, Sparky, Owen, York, That Man, Zam, Little Pattern, Kate, LaForge. Whoops, there we go. Gunship AC. Toxy suit. Give me strength. Nice. 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 All right. <laughs> Old new gum. <laughs> I like that. That's right, we are low on stun rods. That's fine. A toxic gun. I got I why wish we could make this ammo. That makes me angry that we can't. I can make this ammo. So theoretically we should be able to Oh maybe I can't make that one. Maybe I can't. Chemo gun and toxic gun. I can make the other the Pistol one. All right. Oh, 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 yeah, and definitely I want to play with that. Oh, that makes me happy. All right, we'll save that. There we go. Now I'll let this thing happen. Eh, you're fine. Nope. Nope. String Seabot was not found, so I had to remove that from my inventory. I love how the music keeps playing. That's the best part. Try that.
Oh, I can leave that. That looks like a research, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let's try again. Take three. There we go. Now we go. Huzzah! All right, the small combat drone is equipped with blah, 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 Atlantis AI. Excellent, that is our next tier of shit. We are doing uh, corpses and alive stuff there. Prison cells. <laughs> yeah, that's really important. Oh, really important. I'm just going to move you over there. I need to organize this in some way that's better. That's better. Slightly. You know, this is bothering me, and we have money to spare right now. So let's, um, let's spend a ton of money. I wish I could just do that, but I can't. This is how I wanted it to be anyway. It's like a million bucks right there. It's worth it for uh, looking prettier. Totally worth it. I did that one all backwards. <laughs> there we go. I feel much better now. Yes. All right, very good. We could even get rid of these if we want to. If we need to later, have two corridors. All right, these I'm going to worry about later. No. <laughs> I guess it just finished. Strange life form as we wait for time to pass. Uh, people went missing, some found butchered, yada yada yada. All right. Also going to wait for daylight on that one. And that is going to be a supply ship. All right, you. You are all equipped and ready to go. Do I have the right gear on you before... We commit, we do, yes. I just gotta remember to do this every time I... Every time. Alright. You know, the one thing I, I did on uh, Newcom in terms of, like, graphics, it was definitely to change the, um... Uh, there's, like, some fogginess to the colors to clean everything up and brighten everything up. All right, you are to penetrate <laughs> an underground light complex going in the comfortable way is impossible. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa there. Proceed through some... Oh, come on. Look for a syndicate scientist personnel files. All right, I'm so tired of underground BS. If I can't get through the walls, I'm going to be uh, mightily pissed. Mightily, I say. I'm going to use up all of these and not buy any more fluffy. I think that's fine for now. Uh, for underground, I'm going to assume we can't use that kit. I probably shouldn't use this kit. Uh, Rimbo, that's fine. We can have a couple stuns on here. Sneaky thinky. That's fine as well. I'm so tired of... Hey, Delta, how's it going? Englishman. 
no idea what you're saying. I'm going to say speak in English. Oh, I can't use my Google Translate on this. It's a damn shame. All right, we'll bring an extra med kit for you. A doggy. Uh, we'll have another Owen. You can also be non-lethal. That's fine. That's fine. Little pattern. I can surprise you were actually still alive. When's the last time we saw you in a stream? We'll do one last non-lethal with you. Oh, that should cover all my non-lethal needs. Oh, are we low on... Uh, we are, never mind. We are low on dark pistol clips. That's right, because Kate has it. I am cool with that, and you are 6-6. Six, six. We got update 6 to have... Oh, you know what else we're going to do, since I totally forgot about that. Update that to stun kit. Fifty-four, sixty. I think fifty-four. Oh, here we go. That man, Zam. You have. Uh, you're gonna play with a, with this and see how this is with the fancy ass ammo. How much does your ammo weigh? Out of curiosity. That's really light. All right. Well, that's good. You got that. You can grab one of these. Uh, you will have one of these for shits and giggles. One of those. Don't preload that. Eh. That's fine. Alright. Flammable people. There's a wall right there, because everything's dark. We're going to turn the lights on, even though it's still dark. Can I snap on this? I can only auto. Let's get these entrances covered at least. You can go check this one out. Hey, Sneaky, how's it going? How have you been? There's nothing else there. Do we have a live bloodhound? That's another question. You can come out that way. There, there. Let's throw that in here. Indeed, lack of sleep is like just how I live these days. I'm so freaking tired. 
It doesn't bode well for the uh, survivability of these characters, though. The alien electronics platform? What's that? So this is supposed to be tied behind uh, Advanced Lab. Well, it is now. It is in this version of the game. <laughs> so now we can't officially build it anymore. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, I don't know what it's actually supposed to be tied to right now. All clear. It's all empty. No, it doesn't need alien AI. It definitely, well, maybe it does now, but it did not when we unlocked it. It just needed uh, hover modules, so you can get it as long as you, as early as floaters. But that has been fixed. Shield guy should probably go in front. Shuffle him around next time. Ooh, what is that? Oh, the auto shotgun. We tried that and it did not work out well for us. Of course, we did try it. Go Mad Lab. We did try it. Uh, Can I get out of there? I can always go like this. I don't actually think you can hurt me with this. So I'll take that chance. Is that the, the, the ship from Aliens? Because <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what I think it looks like too. Well there, buddy. They could go through that wall if we wanted to. All clear. You guys want to go in, in, in darkness mode? You want to do that? We just go back to the original lighting. I think not. It's either this or that. Sorry, Scorch. That's how I'm going to play the dark levels from now on. I think I might grab this, um, uh, the assault rifle, throw the uh, stun pistol in the pocket just for scientists. That ammo is too damn expensive, as it is. What do we got? You see a syndicate dude arena over there. There we go. How come that guy didn't see him? Alright, you're bleeding out. I do not need syndicate security alive. At all. Let's do a shuffle with you guys. Hmm. <laughs> huh. All right. Uh, the flares are my Illyrium flares. I made them for FMP and I've been using them pretty much ever since. 
in every mod we've done. They are do 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 do. They're just more powerful. I have a power of twenty-five. They're excellent. <laughs> World of Tanks, they sell ammo for real money, right? And that's their spiel. I played, uh, I didn't play them. I did play um, War Thunder. I liked War Thunder up until a certain point. I like, I don't like jets, <laughs> pretty much. Although I do enjoy playing that game with a track IR a ton. All right, Ivan, we got two. Oh, you know what I don't suffer from? All right, let's go ahead and take care of this. I don't suffer from uh, vulnerability to fire. No, sir, I do not. All right, we had a guy around this corner. I really want... is to use this gun I've been wanting to use. Come here. You come here. Zero to 96. Chain gun. That is the way. All right, so this new ammo is actually fantastic. I take back every bad thing I said about the UAC chain gun, and I think I will be upgrading my chain gun usage to only using this one. You lose... Uh, I mean, you lose 12 rounds, but you gain uh, much better accuracy. Because that accuracy is is good. It's good. You also don't have the kneeling accuracy, so you don't use it as a stationary weapon as much. <laughs> I, I can see that being annoying as hell. I still fire up the game every once in a while. I still gotta. I, every once in a while, I just want to play an arcadey flight sim, and I'm all about that. All right, what are you doing back there, sneaky thinky? This whole area looks pretty darn clear. I wasn't feeling it until we got the uh, until we got the uh, good ammo for it. Yep, come at me, shotgun. You will the forty if they have they don't have black ops ammo, but if they did, it would just barely, just barely hurt me. So I'm cool with that. Take a peek. Throw that in the backpack. Find ourselves some scientists. Black Ops Auto Shotgun. I don't think these guys have armor that's worth doing that. Just straight up security. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. You're alive. I'll take the points. Is there a ladder or stairs around here somewhere else? And Sneaky. Who do I send you with? Probably this group. I mean, the minigun is great. I'm, I really am just tired of using it. One second. In the basement! 
I'll be right back, guys. One second. Dad, I pooped. <sighs> hey, how's it going, Orange Gecko? <laughs> and Random Berry. All right, little Pattern, where are you? You can go ahead and cover that. It goes. It's going. It's, it's going. <laughs> basically all I can say right now. Right, that is wall, wall, wall. Is there any way around here? Nothing. I mean, that's, that's what interrupted the stream. So proud of herself every time, too. <laughs> Freaking kids, man. There we go. Oh, I guess I should heal you. Jerk. All right, you still have the Black Ops shotgun. Nothing's going that way. Excuse me, sir. You know, it's weird that my accuracy is only 48%. <laughs> Why do you boil it down? What do you got? Black Ops. I wish, you know, things I wish we had. I wish we had the... Uh, Titanium ammo for this, because I really, really would have enjoyed using that gun more. Hey, Izord, how's it going? 
I'm liking them, you know. I like the mod a lot. I think it has some uh, definite pacing issues. But otherwise, it's, it's enjoyable. It's, it's long. <laughs> it's a very long mod with a lot to do. Right on the edge of the map. What do we got? Ah, oh, crap. It's someone I actually need to capture alive. Where are you? You make this very difficult for me. I might actually not need to capture you alive, now that I think about it. Uh, I prefer Terror from the Deep up into a point. I think Terror from the Deep could be better. But I like the... I like what Terror from the Deep adds to the original XCOM formula. Is that a door? Is that just a hole we shot in the wall somehow? I think Terror from the Deep has a problem. It's missing a race. And even though it's only one, it's a huge difference. And um, some things are straight up broken, like how bases are balanced after a certain point in the game. They're, I find them completely unfun. I think it's possible to make bases be uh, actually race specific, which might make them more interesting, and then changing their equips so that uh, they're not all straight-up DPLs after November. I think is the way to go. Oh, little pattern is gone. Freaking bloodhounds. Nothing here? Oh, there is a way there. That makes sense. Nope, nothing. I thought we were done with caves. <laughs> I'm a little sad that we're not. Oh, uh, the, uh, the tentaculates? You know, the saving grace to those guys is that they have pretty much have fixed spawns as far. Seriously? as far as you're concerned, so you know where they're going to show up. That helps. I'll do a snap. That's why I don't use rifles. <laughs> For the most part. That right there is why I don't use rifles in a nutshell. Oh, that was just a fluke. Can we see these guys? Nope. Oh, it's dark. That's why, because it's really actually nighttime. Because we're using the light hack. I don't actually think I need you alive. For the love of God, it's a freaking scientist. My 71% firing accuracy here. Yeah, I think I just need that. <laughs> the Monsters Inc. files. <laughs> I like it. All right. I do, actually. I like the Cruise Terror missions. Um, I like them in Open XCOM more because the uh, alien closet bug has been fixed, or the uh, alien Zoolander bug has been fixed. Uh, the tricky part, though, is now in Open XCOM, aliens are looking... Is the door closed upstairs? Is the door closed? Go close the door so the cat can get it. Close the door so the cat can't get out. Close.
Sorry about that. What was I saying? Little pattern died. That's all that happened. OBP. Yeah, the colors. Hey, the colors. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. The palettes aren't great. Oh, yeah, the cruise ships are harder in Open XCOM, the second phase, because they now start uh, facing you in the beginning spawn. So the beginning of the second tier is is can be brutal. The beginning, I think, of cruise ships is actually relatively easy. But it's the, it's, as long as you don't camp in the Triton or whatever you're flying, that's where they get you. But it's the beginning of the second phase that is just dastardly. There are cruise ship missions in this, I think, and they are single map cruise ship missions, which is rather interesting. Really? You shot me with a black ops shotgun. Took off half my health. Took off 10, 20, 30 health. Threw 60 armor. How is that even freaking possible? Oh, I must have that one. That must be how. The uselessness of... Tanks and XCOM rears its ugly head yet again. Alright, this is... You're ridiculous. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. You are ridiculous. Darn it. All right, you cover that. We'll go around this way. Nothing. Well, that was a big waste, old waste of time. down even more we do another layer down yeah I think my biggest gripe about Terra from the Deep is pretty much only the uh, alien bases that's true that is true even something as simple as just changing the uh, uh, the uh, UFO extender accuracy, that just totally changes the game in and of itself. Because then it's not heavy plasma auto shot everything all the time. <laughs> uh, I have not, no. I know Reaper did the Mega Mod, didn't he? I have not looked at his rebalance mod. If I die to another freaking shotgun, I swear. Hey, we finally hit him. Finally. Oh, excellent. Do I have one of you? Do I have you? Yeah. Do 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. I have a live bloodhound too. You with your chain gun, guys? <laughs> uh, yeah. 
What is it? Mods, openxcom.mods.io, by the way. The new modding site. For people that might not be familiar with it. OXC.mod, something.mods.io. There's a room in here. Huh. <laughs> huh, where's that one going? All right. I'll leave that there. I think that'll be okay. Send in the flamethrower first. Run, run, run. Thank you, Balkan of Astora. I don't think I have enough caves. We have done so many caves. You know, we just have to do one more vampire mansion, and I think, you know, for the most part, our vampire arc will be pretty close to done at that point. Is there anything? Is that like an elevator? And we can just focus fire on the uh, Vampire Queen this time. We'll just pelt her with, like, heavy cannons. Let her come out to us. We only need one Vampire Knight. Kill everything else. Is there anything else to this room? No, no, just walls. Nothing there. Well, alrighty then. That's great, I guess. Yep, good old vampires. Hiding those girders. All right, so we'll bring you around. We have enough uh, floater cores to repair <laughs> to repair our gunship if it does get destroyed by a shotgun of all things. It already got destroyed by a cult of apocalypse. Things that have destroyed a gunship. We should keep track of that. Other than alien weapons. So it's been a nail gun. A nail gun. Just, I'm going to leave that. Just just those words. You're not even looking at the stats. A nail gun destroyed a gunship. And a shotgun took off half its HP out in one hit. Yeah, it, uh, the repair cost for the gunship, as long as we recover the corpse, which we could not do in the Cult of the Apocalypse, uh, the repair cost is half. Half the floater cores and um, half the cash. So it's like 400 grand and two floater cores instead of four, 800 grand and four. I think most of the Fortal HWPs have that in this mod. What the? How did you did it? God darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it, Fluffy. How did I not see you? Where the hell did you come from? We've entered our fourth year of this game. I think I'm okay with broken. I want to be. I want to be on the broken side of the equation for a little bit. God damn it, Fluffy! <laughs> I knew it too. I 
effing A. He's over here somewhere. Now he's gonna find him. We got guys down here or up there or something. I hate losing. Well, Fluffy was an X. So I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's okay. Am I missing anything over here or is this just nothing, nothing else? Nothing. Yeah, I guess, but Fluffy was like, all his secondaries were maxed. <laughs> and I think it's firing at because he was maxed too. He was a good soldier. It was a good, good X. I'm still not really seeing the actual usefulness of uh, spread fire, other than uh, theoretical usefulness. <laughs> All right, he's over here somewhere. There he is. Hey, SDA, how's it going? Yeah, saving takes forever. These save files are huge. Because everything's saved in this, stored in a single save file. It's like a 10 meg text file. Much of that way nine, my goodness. What else can I drop? I'll probably drop. That'll help. We'll drop that next turn. Can't see Ivan in this pallet. deck. It's phonetic, right? Or it's two ends make a different sound. What does that word mean, by the way? Darn it, Sparky. That's why I need you not to panic right now. Let's turn that off for a second so I can see. So I know what I'm looking at. Sun deck? Why don't you pronounce the second non? Oh, gotcha. It's. Gotcha. It's a. Yeah. One of those.
All right, real real talk. Why is this <laughs> so goddamn inaccurate? Real talk for a moment. All right, I'll have to run back and have someone pick up some ammo for you. I can't tell. All right, it's a one by one. We cannot. Not right now. Because I'm busy right now. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Yeah, why, thank you. It isn't as impressive as it looks, although compared to... Stop. I need you to stop. Compared to uh, our scout drone, it is uh, way better. <laughs> way better. That'll work for you. Oh, there goes Ivan. How the hell? Okay, I'm. Hold on. I gotta look at this map because I don't understand how that guy got around. I don't understand. And it's too dark. So done with dark maps. There must be a way. Oh, through those corners to kill that guy. Well, Ivan, your sacrifice allowed us. <laughs> to kill that jerk face. God. <laughs> so tired of things not hitting at, at point blank range. Or what the... Did any of those hit and do damage? No, they have done zero damage. Oh, I'm so tired of RNG. <laughs> I think I'm just too tired. So damn tired. All right, uh, take a peek. I think we got them all. There has to be a way th there. Yeah, there it is. There it is. That's how we got through. Fifty to two hundred, that's not even an option, Ian. Not even an option. No, these guys have amazing armor. That's the worst part. They have that seventy percent resist on twenty eight front armor, so it's actually really damn good armor. For for uh a numberless hordes, basically. I don't think all uh I don't think all ballistics actually need to do that damage roll. But I think there are certain ballistics that should always do a minimum amount of damage. And now we talked about that in our pirates campaign with things like uh how far can you go? You need to catch up. Oh, no, great. With things like single shot cannons. Like the uh like the laser cannon that we took off of a UFO and our girls carried it, man portable laser cannon did far too many glancing shots <laughs> for my comfort in, in that mod. It's uh, basically like the finale, the Sephiroth fight in Final Fantasy VII. Let me summon this spell that destroys three planets before it even gets to you, and it'll do like, you know, a thousand damage. Worst case scenario, we got those. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, we are running out of ammo here, buddy. There we go. 
Now the shotgun is actually scary if he has slug, is because the slugs can, as we see by his half hit point, take this out in one hit if we are unlucky. What the absolute... I wish my armor could absorb that many shots consistently. You actually can't see if we're ducking. I like it. You didn't even hit on this floor. Didn't even hit on this floor. We're just winning the uh, the rolls today is what we're doing. Well, I would assume so. You wouldn't even have to hit him directly. You just had to get close. Yeah, XCOM 2 did something weird with the dodge grazed, right? It's like a separate roll, regardless of anything else. Then one of those does it. Yep. Yep. That's XCOM. All right. <laughs> we can bring you around the corner. There is yet another one. All right. I'm not worried about. Oh, I am worried about. See that freaking shotgun, man. Does that pierce armor or something? Oh, that's a new one. We're going to lose a gunship. You can say hi right now. You're, just, you're saying hi. You're saying hello. There you go. Say hi. Hi. There you go. <laughs> right, go. Go play with your toys. Mommy's upstairs if you want to bother her. Where's mommy? She just got home and you got to pick up that paper. You can't leave that paper on the floor. Where? Where? Under your desk. Oh. All right. Seriously, that uh, black op shotgun is not right. Not right. We'll leave it at that. All right, so you must be some super syndicate security who I should probably capture. And an agent, a lone agent. And I could do that. And get that ready. All right. Thank you very much, Munchkin. You can go upstairs, yeah. Uh, she just got home. I don't know. Upstairs somewhere. I cannot. All right, so that did just a shit ton of it with 30 damage through my armor. That's the one I want to capture, right there. So I'm going to kill everyone else if I can. Uh, the moral of this story is that I cannot. <laughs> I cannot kill these people. Stand up. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't, I still don't understand. I'm going to go back to my original argument is I don't understand how people find the rifles useful. I can't throw that right now. I am missing something in that argument. All right, Owen, I need you to...
just to shoot this guy. I don't think he can throw anything at us. All right, big hit. That's good. I'll do one snap. Nope. Hey, Celestial Particle, how's it going? How are you doing? Hey, kitty. You're not going upstairs. You've lost those privileges. Are you also speaking of the devil? Yeah. Uh, 19. I cannot. I'll wait for next turn. Front armor. Good luck, Mad Lab. Can't have everything you want. Right, we should be good. We should be good with that kit uh, versus these guys. There we go. What else we got? All right, should be fine with that, unless that has slugs all of a sudden. Dude, not cool. What are you called? A security captain. Okay, they were shooting me with AP shells. Not even titanium AP. Straight up AP that do 0 to 80 damage. So they were doing uh, max rolls. How do they get 30 off the first one? Huh. Weird. <laughs> Weird. All right. The point, it breaks down. They had two perfect damage rolls versus our gunship to do that with uh, normal ammo. Alright, so my argument is in terms of the darkness of this map, I, my question is as a player. Why? Why is it so dark? Whereas this looks great with the lights all the way on. The fun fact of the matter here is that, uh, <laughs> pretty much. All right, the damage rolls these guys are actually when they, oh, able to survive are becoming rather interesting. I need to go downstairs, buddy. I actually don't need that guy alive, so let's bring you along. Do they though? I don't think they do. They do. They have 12. Everything has night vision. Never mind. Take that back. All 
All right, so the next question is, why can't I just take off their helmets and put them on? <laughs> why is that not a thing? I'm going to have to back off the gunship a bit to let this guy come up the stairs so I can shoot him. Or I had to run someone back to get some ammo. It's going to take so long. Might have to do that. We'll send Francis York back since he is wounded anyway. Are you just going to punch me, dude? No one else can see you. How about if we duck? No. You're just blocking that line of sight. Well, we have to let him up. Let him up. Come and punch me. And we will send some people back. Yeah, we'll send you back for sure. And you. <laughs> I want a lot of power. I just want an even playing field against humans. Who uh, arguably do not have access to the alien technology and research facilities that I do. You're going to come up the stairs so I can shoot at you. No, nope, we're not. We're just going to sit here, do our thing while I go get some more ammo. Well, I think the answer is that... That wasn't what Fire Access was trying to make when they made XCOM 2. I think Jake is pretty clear about what he wants the game to be. Just come on. Just come up the goddamn stairs. Try to punch me. Use up all your ammo and try to frickin' punch me. Where is my gear? There we go. Okay, I still can't see you. So, everyone, a few steps back. Even more. Jake, uh, I mean, he, he clearly spelled it out in, like, the recent videos he's been doing, but he very much wants to give people uh, a rock, paper, scissors sort of approach to tactics. He said, and I quote... The original XCOM was this beautiful game with all this stuff, but I did not want that type of gameplay. He didn't want the choice. Because the original XCOM, you can see, or in the original version of Fire Axis XCOM, how different it was. Are, are you just, like, really bad at shooting? 72? Oh, because it's 80% aim. That's why it's so bad. All right. And they also didn't think that XCOM was marketable at all. They didn't think people would buy it.
You're gonna die anyway, just, just accept it. Why can you shoot that guy, but I cannot? <coughs> I guess I can't. I guess I can't. <laughs> no matter what I do. That's just not an option for me. Alright. That went to D-Way. Five. Excellent. It would be nice if I can carry extra ammo on the drone. Let me shoot at these guys. Nope, you are not. Only from this side. Or at all. I guess I just really do need you to come around this corner. Just do it that way while I wait for this. On the one hand, I recommend bringing a 2x2 two two unit into this uh, for the ability to block off these corridors. On the other hand, I don't recommend bringing a 2x2 two two unit into this because of the single point of entry. Buy a frickin' magnum. Oh, well, that'll speed things up. So. Two tiles away. Two. Two tiles. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. All right. Need you to reload in a second. These should pierce your armor, right? Oh, especially for you. No, I think Arthur Rimbaud is the worst soldier we've ever had. I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't think there is any question about how bad of a soldier that he is. <laughs> he can't hit anything at any range. Oh, that scientist is packing heat. Get a shield up here. I am okay with killing this scientist. Nope, nope. Scientist, out of curiosity, 80% kinetic resist, normal night. night. Oh, I should say 20% kinetic resist. Holy, <laughs> why are these scientists so resilient? I'm having a bad map. 
Yeah, I'm on a really bad map. Can't hit anything. You can't kill anything. Good luck, Owen. You can drop that. We don't need that anymore. I think rifles are just generally bad. I don't enjoy using rifles. Anything at long range is better served with either a tactical sniper, eh, or a machine gun of sorts. Anything at short range is better served with a shotgun. Pretty much all the time. <laughs> this scientist, let me tell you something. I'm not going to bring you there. I'll bring you forward. We'll have you at OSP pretty much until you run out of ammo. Not have taken us 28 turns to get this little map. <laughs> get down this little map. All right, two more. We do have a live scientist hiding somewhere, so we should be okay. Shotgun. Oh, that's good. We can actually pick up that drum for the other dude. And we have one guy with an assault rifle. I think I'll also replace with another shotgun. Yeah, you. Down the stairs, right? Yep. have one more reload for you so we'll keep you non-lethal for now and I actually don't want the black ops pistol two-handed one-handed use penalty 50 percent Might just keep you there with a the captain. Over there somewhere. Oh, good God. some light on the dog.
for now till we find something better for you. Oh, that's my magnum. I'm like, where did that magnum come from? All right. Turn 873. Why isn't my data feed? Oh. Hey, my mod works. Excellent. Hold on one second. Did that on purpose. Nope. Try that one more time. This thing forever. It might not work because they have a new version. No one told me it wasn't working. <laughs> All right, so bad guys are one, two, three. We have three left. Wait, there's more. Like a charm. Two left. <laughs> this corner of absolute death right there. And the uh, turn 30 ultimate bug hunt is the result of our exalt HQ and how much of a pain in the ass that was. Oh, frickin' ah! Bloodhound right there. Question! Alright. Here's a real serious question. How did that Bloodhound melee through the corner? How are they allowed to do that? Because we cannot do that. Alright, TLGDA killed the last guy. We got 16 Chupacabra videos. <laughs> oh, we lost five agents. I think that's, that's straight up an engine bug right there. And we got our damaged eight gun ship. That's good. 16 Chupacabra embryos. Monsters. Oh, those are worth a lot. How many of those do I need? A syndicate security, a captain, and three scientists. I'm going to ask again. It would be super duper great if the uh, storage screen came up before the selling screen. Yeah. 
All right, let's make some space. Let whatever that is. We're gonna hold on to that. <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but we're gonna keep it. Hybrid corpse. All these fun corpses. How much space do those take? A little bit of space. Sell some of those. 800 Larium, we'll move that out of here. Uh, we can sell those trauma packs for sure. Oh, don't forget some space. And I guess we'll convert those to uh, Larium Flares. Napalm and Incendiary. We can sell a lot of these. We haven't done a sell-off in a long time. Let's see, anything we're not using anymore? We haven't used that in forever. We'll keep the titanium clips because we can't make those yet. We haven't used... I'm done with the M60s. As much as I, I like the idea of them, we have not been able to make good use of them. shotguns. Actually, I'm done with the Black Op shotguns is what I'm done with. Alright, we haven't used those in forever. up some space. Gotta make dark pistol clips. Alright, Mad Lab, Firebrand, Dogovich, maybe you'll come back without an X, Fluffy, James Vaughn, and Little Pattern. Fluffy? When did Fluffy die? Alright. I totally should have just counted in my head. We have one, two, three, four, five. This five. And those don't get cloned. Oh, it was, yeah, that's right. Attack through the corner. That's right. That just made me angry, too. <laughs> Clone base equals three. Soldier equals five. All right. I'll let that load up. There we go. Excellent. Do we have anything else on the ground? We have a uh, strange life form. I'm going to do that off the air. That mission took for freaking ever, guys. So if that is there... No, well, let's let that one expire. I don't really care right now. Erect cyberweb. Erect robot turret examination. This tried automatic turret. Fires powerful energy beams and is well armored. All right. So those are our wrecks. Message from Magma Illyrium Battery. Oh, we have new Syndicate stuff. All right, Council's Power Chain. Sure. Oh, hey, look at all the fun stuff. Syndicate Scientist also gives us Council's Power Chain. All right. Congratulations, K9. All right, we got to distribute those. I need 200 more alloys. All right, we're good on those now. Power chain. 
Yeah. Yep, that's the plan. All right, council power chain. There are two basic categories of organizations serving the council. The first category are referred to as technical and cover global administration, for example, the World Bank. These organizations are expected to do their thing efficiently to ensure that the global order is maintained. Their affairs are generally not discussed during council sessions, and they are only monitored for results. Each of them is supervised by a high commissar, a high-ranking employee of the council, a member of their inner circle, but not one of the actual deciders, and audited by other high commissars. The other category is often called political. These organizations, while often much smaller than some technicals, are considered to be a part of political struggle. Such organizations are harming certain big factions while others profit from them, so they are viciously contested and fought over. All right, Council's power chain is cut off. Let me send Scorch a message. Both. We are, we are, yes, we are, <laughs> we are fighting a uh, world order stuff and also aliens. All right. All right. Everything else you give me, Ed, since I don't have a harvester is straight up something good. Although, Smart Magnum, Black Ops Smart Rifle, and Smart Gun, if I do this, Smart Magnum, Smart Shotgun, we need to do this first, <laughs> and then that guy, and he can hopefully get us something better. So let's get these researched. Very small. Which way are you going? Oh, that is totally going to be another base defense. Pink leader. If you land, I'll go and look, see what you are. Go for it. Welcome back, Random Bear. Perfect. Now we can see what we're fighting. No. I gotta take a uh, landable on all these fighter crafts, because I'm never going to take one person in. The chance of losing a craft for um, a dumbass mistake is far too high. Alright, let's get... Done. We'll start with LaForge. Duchovny, the Swede, Hippo, Weaver, Trash Boy, Chot Like, Lightning, Toki, John, Rogue, Manuel, Blix, North Storm, Airhawk, Stickman, Incognito, and 951. Full crew. Let's take a peek. All right. I'm actually okay with saving it as it is here. What's anything else we have to get rid of? Straight up Electro Flares, we'll get rid of. Let's bring these down so we need less. So we'll use those up. 24 stims, as always. Fire Extinguisher, one. Illyrium Flare, I gotta make more of those. That is now a normal equip. We're getting rid of the Heavy Machine Guns. I will keep this on the craft if we need it, but I doubt we'll use it. I'm going to bring four laser rifles in case we ever come across in a situation where we need them. I think I am done with the UAC shotgun. I'd rather bring more of those instead. I'm going to always have a full group of one of those. I need more stun rods. 
I think I made a whole bunch of stun rods. Let me distribute those before I forget. I did. I made... Uh, everyone gets four. Four more. And you get eight. And we will make a couple more of those as well. No, of course not. <laughs> All right, pink team, go for it. We don't need pink leader. Mental note, also. Give me some room. I need more of those for sure. And Tritanium Kamen. Alright. Do 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 coveny, sure, sure. You guys are all ready to go with your X's. That's fine. Mr. Lightning. I have yet to actually. Mr. Lightning, I want to see how well this works at max range with 122 firing accuracy. For science. Favorite map in the world. It, you got it's the effective map that's all hills and oh another snake man. All right, well keep shooting these down. Do I see him from? There it is. Nope. What is my aimed accuracy on this thing? 85? Versus... Why isn't with the other alien laser? Out of curiosity. I think I might just grab some laser rifles. Straight up laser rifles. That aimed accuracy is useful. All I gotta say, really? All right. Now you hold on to that, I guess. <laughs> There's no need to sell those. Right, 
finish those alloys, please? I know. All right, there's the first one done. The improved Raider Craft, a Raider Craft with additional fuel tank and increased Raider range. It may also carry a small XCOM squad to battle. It holds nine. That's nice with one HWP. It's a, it's a, a little craft. I don't think we'll use it, but you know, better than nothing. All right, share Illyrian battery tech, advanced AI. I want to get that one done. Cyberweb battery implant, tactile near implant. The cyberweb battery. All right. Just go down that list. All right, Titanga is where everyone came from. Two, th one, two, three, four. 17 more days before we can get everyone on there. And then we had Grungle Town. Didn't we have one go to Grungle Town? Oh, they, they might be ranked. That's right. Yeah. All right, so uh, Agent Orion, I am sorry. <laughs> You're a seven. More battle best. Uh, James Vaughn. And who was the other one? I got to write these down now. Not, they're not necessarily rookies when they come on here. Fifty-one. No, all forty-eight. So I'll take you and put you on. No lab taste available. We got some movement on Max Payne and Get Skilled. And Drex. Good old Drex. Alright, Firebrand, the new Dogovich. Let's get Agent Yuri done. Yacht like. And one available. 54, 78, 78 it is, incognito. The new Dogovich is a big X, it's a four. That is now of your eight. You've had uh, three and three and a four in there. You are just not meant to be psionically useful <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. 46, all right. A strange life form. All right, I'm going to do that one off the air. It has been, I think that's our two-hour limit. It is. I'm being pinged from upstairs. So I want to thank you all for uh, watching. Uh, sorry I got a little uh, bitchy during the syndicate mission. <laughs> it's so tired of caves. And we are going to go do some, some rookie training, some reaction training up here. Yep, I think that's the way to go. And I'll do these off the air so you do not have to see them. So thank you all very much for watching. A good night, everyone. And I will see you hopefully on Friday. Adios.